Hi, I'm Gary Jobson. I live here in Annapolis, Maryland, and I have a very nifty hood 32-foot sloop. I souped it up with an asymmetrical spinnaker. And most interesting, it's got an electric motor. When it was first suggested that my hood 32 have an electric motor, I thought about it a little bit and had questions like many people. Well, how do you charge it up? How long can you uh, use the engine for? And then I was quickly reminded well, it is a sailboat, and I am going to focus on sailing, but it's helpful to have an electric motor here in Annapolis to get through the bridge in Spot Creek or to get in and out of a slip, or if you have some grandkids and it's getting late in the day uh, and the wind dies out, you can have uh, some horsepower to get you back. I use my e-propulsion uh, electric motor sparingly, but when I need it, it's there and uh, it, it works. I did have a, it does take a little time to understand how the system works because the first one failed after a couple months and the second one, same kind of engine, failed again. But eventually I came across an engine that works really well. It's called e-propulsion. Uh, it's got two big batteries. There's a lot of technology behind, but the beauty is it works. And with a full charge at 100%, I can get about two hours and 15 minutes of steaming time at somewhere between five and six knots, depending on the strength of the wind. And one of the very cool things about this engine is that you can charge it when you're sailing. So you got to make sure that the key is on and the engine is, uh, is on and the propeller will spin in that case, but as it's spinning, it's charged the battery. So. If you use 20% uh, of your battery getting out to the bay and getting your sails up and you feel like charging up, I just turn it on for half hour or so and I'm back up to 100%. The electric propulsion on Whirlwind is pretty easy to use. You turn on the battery, there's a button, you push it in, hold it, I hear a click, and then I uh, turn the instrument on and it tells me how, what percentage of the battery. So there's three things to turn on and then it works. And you simply have a throttle and you push it forward and it goes ahead. You pull it back, it can go into reserve, reverse or you leave it in normal. So once the system's there, it's a piece of cake to use. And the boat goes surprisingly fast with the electric motor. It can go at least six knots, which is pretty good when you're steaming around a Spa Creek in a 32 foot boat. The boat weighs about 2,800 pounds plus whatever the crew weight is and the lunches, etc. And uh, the boat just steams along like a dream. So do you get drag when you're uh, regenerating the battery? The answer is yes. You don't want to sail around with a propeller that's uh, spinning around. That's slow. And you don't want to have a propeller that's opened up. But I have a propeller uh, that feathers itself so uh, there's a slight bit of drag, but the fact that it's feathered makes it easy and whirlwind sails like a dream. It's only 32 feet, but I can average about 5.8 knots sailing upwind and an average breeze of, say, 12 knots and uh, maybe a little over 6 unless the waves are big. And uh, downwind with the asymmetrical spinnaker up, it goes 8.5 all the time. And I think my record is 10.8 knots in a 32-foot boat with a keel. So... People get on board and boy, we've gone a long distance. The other nice thing about this boat is it points high. So, you know, I get out there on a cruising boat and we're all going the same speed. And then I put it up in the wind and just claw away. Now my wife says, why are you always racing? Here's the thing, I was born to race. I, it, it's in me. So the other boats don't know I'm racing against them. But if there's a boat ahead, my goal is to get ahead of that boat. It's just the way I'm wired. <laughs> that's an interesting question. Have I noticed any differences in the way I sail or navigate uh, with an electric propulsion system versus uh, traditional with uh, gas power? The answer is not really. I mean, it's auxiliary power to give you a little speed to get through an opening in a bridge or a narrow channel or back to the dock if there's no wind at all. I haven't seen a sailboat yet be able to sail when there's 0.0, .0 knots of wind. You're just uh, at the mercy of the current or going in and out of a slip. So there's really no difference uh, between a gas powered and electric motor uh, when you're steaming around. 
except you're not using any gas. You don't have the gas fumes. You don't have the loud noise. I mean, I, I could put the electric motor on and boats next to me will have no idea that I have an electric motor going. I, I, you're not supposed to race with your motor on, but I'm not racing. I'm just sailing alongside somebody and if they're annoying, I just nudge it ahead a little bit and that's the end of that problem. So the question is, in my opinion, what is the future of uh, electric propulsion on sailboats? I think it's pretty bright, not just for sailboats, for powerboats too. Clearly, uh, the technology behind batteries is improving. I think that electric automobiles are helping because there's a lot of research going into that, which will uh, make its way onto yachts and small yachts. But I, I think it's uh, really a bright future. And, you know, anything we can do to reduce our use of fossil fuels is really good. And uh, the fact that the uh, electric motors are working so well and the technology is being figured out, I think uh, 20 years from now, well over half the boats will be using electric motors. Quiet, energy efficient, um, you're not using fossil fuels. You do have to charge the battery, but you can do that with solar. You can do that by sailing around with the propeller going around. So there's a lot of ways that you can get the battery charged. And uh, I find it's a dream, so I recommend it.